I have been eagerly waiting to uh, make this video, finally, uh, after 10 months. And so I have finally read every single page in Rosen, the whole book, including the appendices. So I just finished today, all the way down to page 604, the whole thing. And so it's been a lot of fun. Uh, now I want to uh, spend some time concentrating on uh, doing a bunch of problems. Uh, so really, so it's four notebooks now. I think I was looking at the last video that I made uh, for math, and actually it was just number theory, I think. Uh, I was like on page 300. Now it's I'm down to page 520, something like that. I'll, I'll show it. Uh, so I'm done. I took the last notebook. I took chapter 7 and moved it out of notebook 2, put it in notebook 3. And then notebook 3 is now 7, 8, 9, 10. And number four, notebook 4 is 11, 12, 13, 14. And of course, uh, I've done some problems. Uh, so let me go through the books because, well, I've already shown this one. This is really, I think, 1, 2, 3, uh, chapters 1, 2, and 3. Uh, and then book 2 I've already showed as well. Uh, it goes all the way down to 6 with the exam that I did by then, 4, 5, 6. Uh, and then this one now, which used to just be a own notebook, is really, uh, it starts with 7 with the notes that I downloaded for partition functions. I've shown this already before. Uh, and then I need to do uh, I need to do a quiz for chapter seven. Uh, I also need to do uh, a summary. Did I do a summary? I think I have a summary of chapter seven somewhere. I forget. I'll have to fish. I'll have to fish it out of the other book. So yeah, seven, uh, eight, nine, and ten. And I already I think I, be I believe I showed all this content before. Uh, and then, really, the, the new content that I haven't shown before is all in here. So I did all of chapter 11 uh, notes. Um, then I started working on problems for chapter 11. Uh, got stuck, but I did make a lot of progress, but then I got stuck in trying to do uh, the... Um, the Legendra symbol from negative 3p. I just couldn't do it, couldn't figure it out. Uh, so I'm, I've got some videos that I need to watch and some more learning, some more notes that I downloaded as well, uh, which keeps fattening up these notebooks, but I don't care. I'm, I'm having fun and I, that's the way that I want to do it. So when I get uh, when I get to it, I'm going to go through and finish chapter 11 problems. And then I took notes. Uh, I, I wanted to do the normal cycle that I've been doing, which is uh, go back and do an, a test, do some do some quizzes, uh, run through a bunch of problems. I did not do that for, uh, I did not do any problems for 12, 13, and 14. I just read the chapters uh, because I'm planning to take a course online on number theory and I want to wait till then and I wanted to finish Rosen before that course and so now when I start taking that course I will be uh, going through all of this content actually less than this because I've covered everything in Rosen uh, and then I'll be going back to each one of these chapters and adding content uh, for Rosen trying more problems going further into the content I really need help from professionals just to like really finish up the material uh, self-teaching definitely is limited uh, there are some things that I just didn't learn, uh, and I need I want to learn them. Uh, so some of the derivations, there are steps that I want to go back and ask about because I'm like, I have no idea how that played out. I just need I just need a human interaction from real mathematicians, and so I'm really looking forward to that. And the more that I have worked, incredibly enough, the more convinced that I have become uh, that I need to take that course, and I very very much hope that I act, that I get the help that I need out of that course. Uh, because even though I was able to teach myself a lot, uh, there's just some major holes in my learning that I need someone to, to help me with. Uh, but yeah, this is all of chapter 12, 13, and 14, all the notes, every single page. Uh, and that basically covers, and of course the last time I think I was in like in the 300s, actually the last time that I showed a note page 
was actually in material that is in Notebook 3. I think the last, the last pages that I showed were near the end of chapter 9. Uh, and since, of course, I took notes for all of chapter 10, uh, did a bunch of chapter 9 problems, uh, and then did, took notes for all of chapter 10. So, and also did some problems for chapter 10. Uh, tried to figure out a difficult problem, found out the source of it, couldn't figure it out, but I learned in the process, or at least I could do partial. Did some co computations as well, so I've done some Python, uh, which I'll get to, a, I plan to do a lot of that as I take the online course. Uh, so there'll be some computation, and I may do a video or two where it's not like this, where I'm actually, where I'm actually on the computer showing Jupyter Hub, because I've got Ju Jupyter Hub running successfully, all on integers. Uh, I had to figure out why I was, so, you know, when it prints to whole numbers, you know you're doing something wrong, so I fixed that. Actually, in this case, it didn't matter, but I have fixed that since. And I've actually even programmed a little bit uh, the go-back conjecture for small numbers. I'll show that, but yeah, I got stuck here. So I'll, I'll pick it up. I'll pick up a bunch of problems, but now I'll be doing it with a course. So it'll be like a finishing course. And so, yeah, I read all of, all of the chapters. And of course, by the time you get down to uh, chapter 13, which was not as, uh, as much content as chapter 12, 11 and 12 were a lot of content. Uh, 13 had some blurbs about Fermat's last theorem. Uh, and so now, if, you, if I go back to the very last page in here, it is page 519, and that is the very end of the text of this book. And so I have completed all of Rosen, cover to cover, including the appendices. And that feels great. It feels like a great achievement. But I think the real achievement, I hope, will be that I will get a lot out of that online course that I, that I plan to start taking in mid-August, early September, uh, all the way to the end of the year. So the end of the year plan is going to be to really polish my number theory with a course and then I think if I can swing it I'm going to try to get going also with Thomas and Finney because I really want to finish calculus uh, before I get going with additional material and of course next year it's all about linear algebra that's my plan uh, and so yeah so I this feels great feels great um, learned a lot but got stuck a lot too so uh, like for example, I re I got stuck in I mean I love I love Gaussian integers, which I have referred to as Fermat integers before in a previous video, which is ridiculous. They're Gaussian integers. I got completely stuck with being able to figure out uh, how to break out a uh, a uh, two numbers that you do a, the greatest common denominator with, uh, and then you turn them around and you multiply them by a uh, by two complex numbers to get to equal to one and uh, it's not in here I gave up it's in the book uh, boy I tried I tried really hard so I mean so sometimes I focus on my failures when I do these videos and it's only because this, these videos are really for myself and it's a way for me to remember all right I did well and I learned a ton but hey, I gotta remember to go back and ask about X, Y, Z that I didn't get. Uh, so yeah, there you have it. That is all of Rosen, the entire book, with some handouts that I've picked up from the interwebs. And uh, yeah, number theory. Let's go.